our show was like super popular and uh, huge ratings, so it was kind of interesting. Probably Dino Thunder. Oh, what episode? What? Wait, like, episodes. Oh. Well, your movie, right? You got the movie. Last time we were in Austin, and uh, someone said, "Well, who's your favorite Power Ranger?" <laughs> How cute! And she's like, uh, "Johnny Bosch, the Black Ranger." I was like, oh. <laughs> I was like, ah, that's probably the wrong answer there. It's not what I was waiting for. But in Austin, they were like. Oh, we have a question. We have a question. I'm like, oh, okay, great, great. What's your, this is for Jenna? I was like, oh, that's so cute. All right. The next question is for Jenna. That's great. Next question, Jenna. All right, dude. This is my Q and A. All right. Did you read it? Did you read the paper? Right. So, you like Dino Thunder? My favorite is Back in Black. Back in Black. Yeah. I like the. Uh, your debut is Black Ranger. Yeah. I want to see the AC. Back in Black. <laughs> Um, I think the, uh, what is that episode? I keep forgetting it. Why the dream episode, or the, the one in Dino Thunder where I end up fighting myself, I'm in the hospital. Oh, and, okay. mm -hmm. Fighting spirit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know why that was my favorite? Well, there's two reasons, because it was kind of cool, but the, uh, go look at the guys. They're supposed to be me, and they're all different size <laughs> Japanese guys, you know? They're all different size Japanese guys, but the coolest thing for me, I was like in the hospital, so I was like, this is my acting job. <laughs> and they're like, cut. I'm like, <laughs> like, hey, Jason, look at that. I was like, yeah, I'm just getting in my role, dude. I'm supposed to be in a coma. Can I just lay here and relax? That was funny. I did tell you, though, about those uh, monsters, though. That, uh, try, they got these big costumes that they wear, you know? So you have to, like, you're probably familiar. You go to Dragon Con, so they put the big costumes. They're all rubber, rubberized. So, like, they're, but there's little, like, Chinese stunt guys in there. I don't mean that in a bad way, but they're like, they're bad. I mean, those are the type of guys who be like, yeah, man, what are you going to do? Oh, all I smoke it, because they all smoke. And uh, so they take this big costume off, and I don't guess, and they, they, the costume, you know, they take off, and the costume goes like this. Well, they stand behind it, and they're smoking, and the costume's like, you know, so when kids come to set, the monster's all bent over, they're smoking and kids are like, oh my god! And they're like, they're trying to get it on and the guy's like, you know, like, hey, man, it's fun. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, we had to always watch when kids come to set. You know, because the Power Rangers, you know, we couldn't cuss, we couldn't say things. But you have to understand, my personality. Okay, Tammy's dad wanted to go hunting, deer hunting. That sounds pretty fun, right? So I was like, okay, cool. I know, she's sad, I know. Shoot, Bambi, your, your grandpa does not me. I've never shot a deer in my entire life. Yeah, right. I haven't. <laughs> I haven't. I haven't. I mean, I will try to miss with you and try to hit him on the things, but I joke around with you. But anyway, she's like, yeah, we'll go hunting. I'm like, okay, cool. And they're like, yeah, all right. Uh, well, I'm like, how do we catch one? So, first of all, <laughs> your dad ain't going to watch this. First of all, <laughs> you don't catch him, you kill him. Okay, cool, man. So, uh, how do we kill him? You know? It's like... <laughs> Yeah, so he's like, all right, well, we get this, like, shed or whatever, or like a tin thing or whatever, and we sit in there. Yeah, for hours. Are you kidding me? You, and not talk? I, okay, I can't sit in a place with Red Bull and sit there for five hours. So I was thinking, that's torture. You know what I mean? Not to talk. It's like, see, I got a Red Bull. See, a Red Bull. Okay, Red Bull. And uh, so on the set, we would stand and we would... Do, we, we wouldn't have stand-ins. Everyone has stand-ins. Typical Hollywood. You get paid good money to stand there, light the set, stand in the line, adjust cameras, you know, change the lights. We well, have to understand, we sit on our mark for about half hour to 45 minutes. And of course, you know, we're like, pow, oh, dude, stand up, oh, okay, you know, <laughs> joking around, pushing each other, you know. Director looks down, bam, off your mark, get on your marks. Yeah, dude, get on your mark. What are you doing, man? This is a serious thing. <laughs> serious acting, man. I don't, you know. So I'd be a joke. And finally, I think they didn't want to get standings, but it was at the point where they're like, yeah, we're going to get standings. It's going to make our job easier. Go ahead and pay whoever you to get standings. And, uh, but yeah, it was one of a lot of waiting on set. A lot. So jokes? Yeah, unfortunately, I did a lot. All my vehicles came with no keys. All my stuff, yeah, they wouldn't give me keys because sometimes I would start it and just want to like drive them around a little bit. And, <laughs> you know, went off the hill and uh, me and my brother were filming and, and uh, 
mammoth and we're like, oh man, we're gonna take this little jump. It was just like this. It was literally like just a little hill where we had our snowboards on. We're filming an episode. We're lighting up and I was like, let's just take this little jump. Don't, don't, don't jump off. He's like, you do it. You do it. I blame him for everything anyway. Oh, brother. He made me do it. And uh, so we did this jump. Boom. And then all of a sudden it just, the mountain just kept going and going and going and going <laughs> and going and going and like set was getting further away and further away. So we got down. And uh, we're like, easy, let's just take the chair back up. How hard can this be? So we got there, and it was like, chair, chair, chair. I'm thinking, like, which chair is it, man? I don't even remember if we got lost for like two, three hours. And then, of course, you know, the director, where were you? And I was like, my brother uh, made me get off the stage. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, my brother worked on the show. I got him a job on the show. I got him a job. And um, and so he was working on, on set and all that stuff. And then. Five episodes later, he's like, you know what? I'm thinking about I want more money. I'm like, dude, not with Saban. You gotta work, you gotta, you gotta work at the non, you gotta be passionate about what you do, and you can't force things on Saban. He's like, well, I'm 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 gonna get more money, so they just got rid of him. And the ADR, remember with the ADR, they would do things on purpose that only the actors would know, not you kids. Now you're older, you understand Japanese footage, American footage, the voices are different. So they replaced his voice at the beach. There's one part he's like, there's some actors like, beep, beep. all right, man, let's get going. My brother's like, what do they do to my voice? Look at that. Do you hear my voice? I'm like, that's what happens, dude. You know, but uh, it was pretty funny, though. They do a little sneaky stuff like that. They'll change voices or they'll say, so, you know, when you watch a kid's movie and you're almost like it's the adult joke, and you're like, oh, my. I can't believe this is in the movie, right? They do a lot of stuff like that. Remember when we watch, I don't know which movies, but they always have that subtle little thing in there. So. I'll ask it back here and then we'll go in. What's your favorite uh, fighting video game besides Power Ranger? Favorite video game? Favorite fighting video games. Oh, uh, favorite fighting scene? Yeah. In the Power Ranger movie? No, oh, video game, video game. Favorite, favorite, favorite fighting video game. Oh, fighting video game? Beside, you know, beside Power Ranger. Um, well, back in the olden days, I did, a, you know, you know when Atari was around? <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm telling you, dude, Atari is those little tanks and stuff and you know, Pac-Man, it was so much easier to play those video games. You really got to think now, you know, when you're playing video games, you really do. It's like, back then it was like playing checkers, ha oh, ha, now it's all chess, you guys all like, you know, it's crazy stuff. But uh, the, I saw the guy with the Street Fighter shirt, is he here? The, just the Street Fighter video game, I used to love that video game. That was my favorite fighting game back in the days. And then I got so busy with stuff, uh, I haven't got a chance to do much, you know, um, between editing and... I'm still uh, editing our wedding. I'm halfway through it. How many years? Ago? Nine, nine years ago. <laughs> it's bad. It's good though, but it's on DOS. I got to figure out trend. You got to help me transfer. <laughs> it's on the tapes. I went back skydiving, and uh, we took like a break for like ten years, right? About a ten year break. So we went back skydiving and uh, have all these old cameras and all this old technology. And Trent's a friend of mine, so I'll always text him like randomly just out of the blue. Hey, what about this? And he probably gets these random texts. He's like, dude, can you say hi? So he'd tell, text me back the technology. I'm just real short on my texts. And uh, so I went back and I'm thinking, oh man, I'm gonna go back. You know, me and Tammy had all these jumpsuits and now all this new style is out. So we kind of look old, you know? And then uh, I got the video camera and I just feel like one of those guys, they got the little GoPros now. I just feel like those guys are like, all right, ready to jump. Ready! I got the camera rolling! Ready! All the newer guys are like, cool man, deep! You know, jumping out. And, um, but yeah, it was funny going back into the sport. You know, we have all this older stuff. They were reading in the magazine. Uh, you know, we free fly and do all the stuff that the younger guys do. And they were reading in the magazine this thing called Pops. It's a logo of like a Pops. Maybe I get sponsored by them, you think? No, I'm just kidding. It's, got, it's a guy in a rocking chair with like an old beard and it's a skydiving thing, all right? It's a skydiving club. I'm like, yeah, whatever. It's, it's, what is it? Parachutes over 40 spelled with a P. I'm like, parachutes over 40? Dude, in two years, I ain't joining that club. Who wants to wear that kind of patch? Hey, man, you see the club I'm in? Pops, what's up? You know what I mean? And, uh, it's just funny though, but the show is, you have three generations of people. Like I said, I interviewed this mom that you have a, a, the mom that, oh man, I used to watch you. The daughter, I used to watch you, she's 26, to her child. We see you on Dino Thunder like three generations. I can't handle another generation, you know what I mean? You get these guys that come up and they're like, they real loud, hey, I used to watch you when I was a kid. I'm like, shh, man, quiet down, all right? 
<laughs> I'm saying that too loud, all right? And, um, but yeah, it's kind of funny that all the fans have grown up now and all that stuff. And um,